Now, I, I, I wanted to start off this episode of the Pope on Film with a bit that I was going to do last week. Okay. But last week, being a stay-at-home dad was my top priority, and who fault, whose fault was that? Fucking Eleanor. Nope, Misha oh, Collins. No, Tasha. Misha Collins. Goddamn right. Yeah. It's Misha Collins and the rest were at the Supernatural Convention in DC, DC Con, as it's called in the Supernatural world, and my wife was there. And she met a bunch of people and had a good time and drank and, you know, so good for her. She met Misha Collins, got a couple yeah. hugs from her, from him. Meanwhile, I'm at home doing all the work and driving all these kids around and uh, taking care of Eleanor, who's doing nothing but screaming and crying. Way to make my baby cry, Misha Collins! <laughs> anyway, this is a list, and it's related to last week's movie. 2017's Yonfest, the 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 Dark Tower. Yes, I call this list previews of the uh, reviews, not previews, reviews of the Dark Tower movie. Eleanor did that. Why did she? Eleanor is a terrorist. Okay. I I call this list reviews of the Dark Tower movie. Uh -huh. That could also be painfully accurate reviews of my life. <laughs> I don't know how okay. it happened, but I was on Ron Tomatoes and I was reading the reviews of The Dark Tower. And for some reason, at some point, I started feeling sympathy for that horrible movie. Because each review slowly but surely started to feel like a personal attack on myself. Okay. So again, this list is... Reviews of the Dark Tower movie that could also be painfully accurate reviews of my life. Each review doubles as a painful personal attack on me and my character. Okay. These these are uh, uh, bits and pieces, snippets of reviews. Uh, phrases that were used in actual reviews for the Dark Tower. Uh, seems confused. <laughs> Yeah. That, I'm right there. Uh, cheesy and laughable. Yeah. Natasha can, Natasha can vouch for that. Oh my God, she's got that pretty piano. She has not played that piano all day. Not until I got a, I started doing the podcast. It's amazing. Uh, generic escapism. Okay. I thought that would actually be a good review of this podcast. <laughs> generic escapism. Bland, but That could be a band name. That could be a band name. Oh, yeah. We drink that much? Jesus Christ. Generic. Wow. Escapism. Yeah. Bland, benign mediocrity. <laughs> I, actually, I actually want that one on a shirt and just wear it around. <laughs> Bland, benign mediocrity. Earnest, but lifeless. Okay. Well, because uh, Earnest is dead. <laughs> Earnest, but lifeless. Uh, messy and dull. A few nifty ideas, but otherwise bland. Bafflingly incompetent. <laughs> a lack of originality abounds. Mm -hmm. See, at this point in time, I'm going, okay, like this is starting to hurt me personally. <laughs> you know? uh, mordant a mordant apocalyptic tone. Okay. I think that that's actually a good review of everyone in 2017. <laughs> Mordant, apocalyptic tone. Not enough substance. Hackneyed. It does have a few laughs. This one actually, this next one actually hurt. A stunted afterthought. Wow, I didn't know my parents reviewed The Dark Tower. <laughs> that's basically, they basically, like, like if parents wrote Yelp reviews for their children. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Esteban, one star, <laughs> with a stunted afterthought. A bizarre amalgamation? That's a great review of me. 
a bizarre amalgamation. That's 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 on the that's on the money. That's on the nose right there. That that is good. Yeah. Often looks ridiculous. <laughs> lacking ambition. The foundations aren't solid. Word. <laughs> This one seems uh, racist. A critic's piñata. A critic's piñata. Piñata. Yeah. Piñata. Like, ouch, that's racist. You're, you're calling me a piñata now, and that hurts my feelings. Uh, Can't blame you. Yeah. An oddball that barely functions. <laughs> That all hurts. That all hurts me, like, on a personal level. That's my list. I, I, Reviews I, of the Dark Tower movie. That could also be painfully accurate. Reviews of my life. I, I don't see how that couldn't hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. 